Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to do a little comparison between a Stanley 60 and a half low angle block plane, sort of a classic block plane, and the 12 960 uh, modern day copy of that. Uh, the one I have says it's made in England. I'm not positive where all of them are made, and if the ones that you buy today are made in England, maybe I got lucky and got a a nicer, heavier one, but you can see these two planes side by side. The parts are similar. I'm going to weigh them because there's quite a bit of heft in the new 12960. This uh, 60 and a half weighed one pound and two ounces. The 12 960 weighs one pound seven ounces. Just the body of the plane alone, without any parts, was at 14 ounces for the 12,960, and the 60 and a half was at 11 ounces. I know that's not a lot, but it, it definitely feels good in your hand to have that heft. Here are the two adjusting dials. The one on the left hand is the 60 and a half. The one on the right hand is for the new plane. You can see it's a, just a, an adjusting knob with a threaded guide. The piece of casting that this rides in is much larger in the new plane than it is in the older plane. It seems to slide very nicely in that little channel uh, as you screw it in and out to make adjustments for the blade. The 60 and a half rides in a skinnier channel However, I would say that the machining of the parts and as they kind of glide together in that channel felt a little nicer in the old 60 and a half. I'll put the screw in here to uh, put the lever cap on and uh, do another little bit more of a comparison about these uh, more of the internal parts of these. I had a little trouble getting the thread started in this old plane. The blades are very similar. I would say one is no thicker than the other. The new plane has a uh, lateral adjuster in this little cradle here that adjusts the blade laterally where the old 60 and a half does not have that adjustment. However, you can get it right with your fingers before you tighten the lever cap. The little notches in the blade right in the notch in that little carriage. Uh, both planes are very similar that way. Remember, these are a low angle plane. They're a, they're a bevel up plane, so there's lots of support for the, the blade. The lever caps are similar. The new plane has more of a round a bearing point where the old plane is just sort of a, a bent piece of metal, kind of a knurled look. You get these tight though and uh, make adjustments on the blades. They both feel very similar. They both adjust very easily in and out. They both seem to adjust accurately in and out. And Later when I cut with them, you'll see that's the point. Here I'm turning that in and out just to show you that blade uh, advancing. That's in the new plane. As for the old plane, it's similar. The blade goes in similarly. As for the new plane, it does ride on the little notch on the adjusting area, just like the other one did. Uh, lever cap, similar. seemed a little more loosey-goosey. However, I'll tell you, when I plane with it, uh, they really both act quite a bit alike. As far as the adjustable mouth in each of them, uh, both pieces are, again, similar. In the old plane, you can see it's more of a machined piece, more of a cast machine piece, even though uh, you know, on the new plane as well as the old plane. Both of them fit super flush. 
Uh, I've lapped the bottom of both planes and they both super flush and, and work super nice. And you can see how that adjustment works on the old 60 and a half. Similarly on this plane, uh, the difference between the two really is the little stud is fastened to the, uh, the bottom plate where the other one, the stud and the, the knob are together. But there's a nice heavy knob, good grip on it. The uh, little concentric thing works just the same. You move it back and forth and you can see that adjustment works just the same on both planes. As for sharpening, obviously they sharpen the same. Uh, I like this little diamond. I keep these planes sharp, so these didn't need a ton of uh, sharpening, but I'm just giving uh, just a little kind of a polishing job to that bevel. I use this little roller uh, device where you just uh, slide the blade in and out of the device to adjust the angle. I usually will mark on the bevel with a felt pen, and that way I can see where I'm taking off metal by just seeing what part of that blue line that I marked on there is being removed. So I just give that a quick polished job on the bevel, uh, turn it over, and uh, flatten out the back side in case a little burr was raised. Again, these are already super sharp and uh, they didn't need a whole lot, but I'm just showing you here the way I do it generally is the same. Just a little water on that diamond stone, and again, they 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 come back to perfect in, in just a little, just a few minutes, really, of this kind of an action. Just kind of put a shine on that, uh, on the bevel, and flatten off the burr on the back side that is created from this movement on the diamond stone from the bevel. That's really all I, all I do. Now I'm going to just uh, cut with both of them and uh, just try to give you my subjective opinion. Here's the old 60 and a half. It's definitely a favorite plane of mine. You can see these fabulous ribbons of wood that are coming off just just whole and perfect and it, it's just silent as it glides along. It's so sharp. I like a block plane. You can hold them in your hand and, and it feels like you've got a lot of control. Here I am using it as a uh, to chamfer some edges. It's just probably what I use a block plane more than anything for and you can see that it's taking off perfect little strings of wood. I, I gave it just a short test on end grain up against the end of this board just to see how well it took that off and it seemed to level that out very nicely. I also tried just a little chamfering on the end grade. It's something else I tend to do a lot with a block plane so I was going to just test it out and you know hard to have a much of an opinion other than to say the 60 and a half has always been a favorite of mine. It's a classic and it works like a million. Here's the newer plane, the 12-960. Again, the Stanley numbers have no idea where those numbers came from. I don't know where the other number comes from either, but uh, it's called a 12960 now. Again, the one I have is made in England. I think I've heard that the newer ones are either made in Mexico or China, so maybe they're not as good, but I think they can be tuned. You can see it's taking off beautiful ribbons of wood as well. I'm also using it to uh, chamfer. You can see it takes off great little strings. And I have to say, as far as my opinion of these two planes, I think they operate almost exactly alike. I think I like the new one better because it's heavier. And heft in a plane always seems like a good thing. And I know it's only a few ounces but it really feels good uh, to use it. And again, mine being made in England, perhaps it's better than the newer ones today. You may want to take a closer look at those and compare them uh, with an English one if you happen to be able to see one. So here they are side by side, a 60 and a half, a classic, and a new 12-960. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.